What does science, technology, engineering, and mathematics all have in common with the art of dance? On the surface, not much, but STEM from Dance, a New York City-based nonprofit, is using dance to expose girls in low-income communities to the opportunities available to them in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, also known as STEM education. Women and minorities are currently woefully underrepresented. Women make up less than a quarter of the STEM workforce in the United States. STEM from Dance is using a creative approach to redefine access for girls and minorities and hopefully turn the tide of discrimination once and for all. I think the biggest obstacle to getting girls involved in STEM is getting them to see themselves in a different light. This program was awesome. I learned a lot. It was real cool because you don't look like it. But I think that's what gives us the neat opportunity with dance to see, you know, they're comfortable with us because, you know, we're doing something that they're already used to. We sort of build this foundation of trust to then take them to see hey, just like you trusted us and see you dance, just since we're having a good time, we could show you this other world. You got lighter. Yeah. So I uh, studied engineering, largely from the influence of my parents who both uh, work in STEM-related jobs. Compelled by these awesome opportunities that were available to me uh, from my degree, yes, we got it. but also I guess discouraged by how few people there were who look like me who are also getting these opportunities and wanted to do something about it. I uh, became a teacher through Teach for America and uh, through meeting my students when I was teaching algebra, just saw how much confidence and mindset was a barrier to, to them excelling and to them feeling comfortable even trying to do a math problem. And, uh, and that's what piqued my curiosity. How do you get a student to, to try when they feel as though, you know, math is not for them or technology, system, engineering, coding is not for them? That's when I thought dance is such an awesome opportunity to, to infuse that confidence and to change their mindset about what they're capable of. And uh, sort of the combination of all these experiences led me to, to start something dance. I'd say to date, we've served about 100 students. Um, this upcoming year, our target is 150. Five, six, seven. And we do that through a team of three people. So um, outside of myself, we have a dance instructor, a STEM instructor, and also an administrative coordinator who helps with a lot of the logistics. You know, we show them these examples of these popular artists like Beyonce or Rihanna performing at the Grammys or some big award show. And oftentimes they're dancing in front of these, you know, elaborate graphics. And, you know, so we point out to our students, you know, that, some, somebody coded that. You know, the way that the artist is interacting with these graphics, you know, the artist is part of that too. They may not have coded it themselves, but um, you know, we teach them that, that they can do both, that they can do the dancing, the choreography, the lighting, the costumes, and they could also code these animations that could you complement what they create. So to be honest, I thought that STEM wasn't going to be fun, but it really is fun. Like, I, I really learned a lot of coding and different ways to use it. The girls have been hard at work for two weeks, 
creating these awesome projects where they have created a performance piece. They've chosen the message that they want to convey as a group, uh, a title, a theme. Uh, they've chosen the songs that convey this theme, um, and they've created choreography. They've also coded animations that are going to play behind them while they dance. In addition to performing their pieces, they're also going to explain the process, the creative process that they went through, because it was all different for each three groups, uh, as well as take questions from the audience, just like, you know, professionals do. Ladies, this is the last round, okay? <laughs> I admire you guys for sticking through from the beginning to end. Uh, we, we gave you guys a big challenge to get ready for this performance, and you did it. My group name is The Transformation, and we have like a mashup of three Beyonce songs, Pretty Hurts, Flawless, and Feeling Myself. Personally, I want to like be in forensic science, so it's like great because math and science is like like some of the core aspects of the job. I think the fact that these barriers exist for women of color that don't exist for, for other students, that just, you know, that tugs on my heart. Because I think, you know, we deserve these opportunities just as much as anybody else. That's why it's important for me in developing this organization to target girls of color because of the added barriers that we face when we when we pursue STEM. Them going in this direction is not only great for themselves and their lives and their future, but if you look at us as a country, it is proven that innovation thrives when teams are diverse. I think the message is really that just be yourself and though you do have struggles on the side with your family and friends, I think you should just be yourself and don't let other people bring you down as a person because that's just gonna mess up your whole trail as becoming successful. Something else that's worth pointing out is how um, the way you think as a dancer is very similar to how you think as an engineer, the process of creating a piece. Uh, you often go through the same steps of brainstorming, creating a prototype, um, getting feedback. The process is the same throughout and I think getting them to see that they already are creators, they're already engineers, because, you know, at home they'll make up their own routines and, and just how they are able to create in that space, they're able to create something within the STEM world. Whenever we interact with young people, it's important to take into consideration who they are what they care about already, um, instead of just imposing something on them. And I think that's another value of, of using dance in our intervention, that we're able to, to, to look at their culture, see what's already relevant to them, um, and use that as a way to, de to deliver an intervention, uh, because we're mindful of who they are before they start working with us.